Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite. My name is Ganesh, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I help ensure that G Suite satisfies my organizational policies? We've heard from our customers that they'd like to control where their G Suite data at rest resides. To serve that need, we've built G Suite data regions. Let's dive into a demo to help you understand how to set it up. In order to choose a data region, navigate to the company profile section of your admin console, click on the show more tab, and on the data regions card. What you'll notice is in a matter of a few clicks, you can set up a data region setting for your domain. You can select an organizational unit and apply a data region setting accordingly to that organizational unit. This is a zero code experience. You don't need to write any scripts at all and you can choose multiple regions for as many OUs as you'd like. We know that our customers' businesses are in a fast-changing environment with mer mergers and acquisitions, reorganizations across geos, etc. To help you keep pace with it all, we offer full flexibility with no minimum seat counts and no limits on the number of times you want to change data regions. We also offer full visibility into the progress of your corresponding data moves. In order to move, view move progress, navigate to the dashboard section of your admin console. What you will see here is the two cards on the right show you move progress for each of the regions that you've chosen. Move progress is aggregated on a per application basis for all of the covered apps. This year, we added backups to data regions coverage. And in order to view backup move progress, please click on the backups tab. We aggregate all of the moves across the cards on the right and sum it into the two regions and the overall move percentage for the domain on the card on the left. You must be wondering how tedious this data move process is to manage, whether businesses would get disrupted because of files being taken down, or if you need to spin up help desks and communicate to your employees. The good news is there's no need for you to do any of that. We make all the data moves in a manner that is completely opaque to the end users. We do all the hard work behind the scenes and never take down any files so you don't have to make a harsh trade-off between availability and choosing a data region. Now, we've also heard from customers that they would like visibility into if and when the data is accessed by an authorized individual at Google Cloud. In order to do this, navigate to the Access Transparency Report under the Audit section of Reporting in your admin console. Looking at the report, you straight away get an idea of the G Suite products that have been accessed by authorized individuals at Google, along with the justifications for those access. Let's pick an example. Let's pick this row where Google Drive was accessed due to a customer-initiated support ticket. We provide details of the specific case number that resulted in the access. We also provide details of the very specific resource that was accessed in order to investigate that support case. If you'd like to find out which exact resource was accessed, you can use this resource name in the Security Investigation Tool, which is a part of the G Suite Security Center. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from our Google Cloud experts. 